Question for you. Why can radio waves penetrate walls coming through your house so you can receive a radio station, but other wavelengths like visible light are totally stopped by the bricks and can't get inside the house? What's the difference? Well, here we have a little picture of the electromagnetic spectrum. You can see that we have microwaves here. That's what's cooking your food. We have radio all the way at the end. We have infrared here. We have visible light here, ultraviolet, and we have other things like x-rays and gamma rays. Notice that the frequency or the, the speed of the wiggles, for lack of a better word, gets higher and higher and higher as you go to the right. So in quantum mechanics, the higher the frequency, meaning the more wiggles per second, for lack of a better word, the higher the photon energy. So they're all the same phenomena. They're all an electromagnetic wave, which is carried in packets called photons, but the energy of a photon of a radio wave is much less than the energy of a single photon of a gamma wave. Now in quantum mechanics, this is encapsulated by Planck's famous equation, uh, E is equal to H nu. So this is the energy of a photon is equal to Planck's constant, that's just a number, times its frequency. So you can see as the frequency goes higher and higher and higher, each individual photon energy goes higher and higher, which is what we just said a second ago. So now we can zoom into the EM spectrum. Here we have visible light, and then way over here we have radio. This number here is called the wavelength. 10 to the three is about a thousand, so that's in meters. So the wavelength, literally the size of the wave, is about a thousand meters, could be in the hundreds of meters on a typical broadcast. Microwaves are in the centimeter range. You have infrared and visible, this is 10 to the minus six, so they're in the range of hundreds of nanometers or millionths of a meter. Much, much higher photon energies for the visible light. The photon energy for the radio wave is really, really low. Now, what does this mean? When a radio wave encounters the bricks of your house, it can pass through because the photon energy is low enough that basically it doesn't really excite any electrons in the atoms of the bricks. This is the Bohr model of the atom and the electrons are orbiting in uh, concentric circles. Now they're not really orbiting, we know that they're wave functions, but still you can think of them as hanging out in different energy levels. The energy of a photon of radio is just not high enough or comparable to the energy difference in the orbitals here to excite any electrons. And so that means it's like the matter isn't really even there and the photons can pass right through. But the photons of visible light is on the order of this transition here. That means it excites the electrons, causes a lot of reflection and scattering. So photons of visible light cannot penetrate matter like the bricks of your house. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.